What's up, guys? Welcome back to another podcast, man. I have a special guest here today. Listen, man, I'm gonna let him tell his story though. Been following him. I was on a I was on a Zoom with him. I met him through a friend, and man, it's just been it's just been amazing to meet amazing people, man. What's up, big dog? Talk to the people. What they call you? What they call you? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I do this? Thing? Yeah. Yes. Yes. This? Yes. Do it how you do, do it. it. Yes, sir. Oh, get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Here we go. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's me, it's your boy, the Louisiana country boy, coming at you love once more again. Yes, just like that. Mm. <laughs> so listen, when did you start? When did you start? When did you start creating content? And why did you start creating content? Let's talk about it. Well, first of all, the why. Mm, the why is more important than anything. Ooh, come on. That's in any aspect of anything yes, in, sir. This, in this world is to know why. Yes. Um, yes. My why was because I was going through. Mm. My why was because this was it was my opportunity to heal. <sighs> come on. Uh, I had been hurt publicly. Mm. So why not heal publicly? Talk to the people. Um, so I, I share my, my journey. I share my testimony. I, I come open, honest, and transparent. Mm. Let me tell you something. In 20 years, if y'all Google me, it's going to be the same <laughs> that dumb thing. Ain't come no, on. Ain't nothing nobody can tell you. Y'all be like, I already know. <laughs> I already know. That was him. So, so, so creating content, how, how fun has it been for you? Like, Is it something you enjoy or you just do it because you just want to do it? I enjoy. I enjoy. Come on. I enjoy. I enjoy it. I enjoy being able to to share my life, to share this journey, to yes, share sir. joy, happiness with others. Mm. Um, it is so important for me Come on. to be the light. Not talk about the light, Come on. but to be it. To mm. be it. I can't talk about nothing if I ain't going to be it. Mm. Um, and that is facts for me. I love it. I Come love on. it. Um, in my worst of times, come on, I'm gonna be talking. I'm gonna be dancing. <laughs> in the best of times, I'm gonna be talking. Come on, I'm gonna be dancing. Yes, sir. That's what I'm gonna do. Mm. So, all right, how'd you get the name? Like, did you create the name yourself? Which one? All right, so so, so tell me <laughs> how many you got? How many you got? So let's talk about how many you got. Well, my business, your business, is my worthless two cents. Okay, LLC. so my worthless two cents. Where did the mind frame come for that name, though? And you know what? I just did a post to explain that to you. Mm, come on. Um, many, 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 many years ago. Come on. It was my assumption. Mm. That's where we get it mixed up. It was my assumption that my worthless two cents was because I started tagging myself, um, hashtag my worthless two cents on come Facebook. Come on, come on. And I started doing that because I would make a post and somebody would comment. Mm. They just have something to say. <laughs> so I started hashtagging after my post. Come on. My worthless two cents. Quotations. Your approval is not needed. needed. Ooh. So that's where it comes from. <laughs> so so I say you put the logo together. So how you put the, how you, so you put the, I see you got the, 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 the way it's built. What made you build it like that? It's just. It's, you know, and a lot of people say the, they think too. Mm -hmm. It's the number two for cents. Mm. And, and here is is what I remove it from what I thought it was way back when. Okay. That it was God's actual vision long before I even realized. <sighs> Come on. How can I say that? Because I, there's a scripture in the Bible. Come on. And it's, I think it's in Luke 21. It talks about a woman mm. who was in the synagogue and she was, they were taking up offering. And there were all these people there, these wealthy people, these wealthy people, and they were just throwing their money in. Come on. What she gave was her mm. last two coins. Ooh. Her last two copper coins that Come on. she gave. Mm. And he said she has given most because she gave out of her heart. Mm. So my worthless two cents is much deeper than just. I got you. It, it, it is about what I do. Mm. I'm giving out of everything that God has given me. 
That's good. So, in essence, my worthless two cents mm. is actually priceless. Mm. Did y'all hear? Y'all heard it first. Now, okay, so my worthless two cents, how we tied in to Country Boy? Louisiana Country Boy. Mm, what part of Louisiana? Because I got people from Ville Platt, Appaloosas, Church Point. Oh, go ahead. You're going to have to go on up north. <laughs> oh. You're going to have to go on up north. You're going to have to go on up north central. Come on. <laughs> I, I am from a, a wonderful town called Grambling, Louisiana. Okay. Born okay. and raised. Mm. Cornbread, pig feet, <laughs> and collard green feet. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. So you tying them in to build your brand. So I'm, I'm really, I'm diving in and looking like, okay, he's tying in the two. All right, so your work the two cent is is what you tell people from the heart. Yes. And then the, the country boy is the brand that ties in with it. Yes. And so, it's, it's a three parter now. Oh, 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 tell me the third part. <laughs> third part is unlocking the power within. Mm. Um, unlocking the power within. I'm also a a life coach. Okay. I'm also a mental health counselor. Oh, come on. Um, these all tie into. I, I can't. Be any of it without being it. Oh, living it, um, experiencing it, experiencing it, walking mm. through it, walking mm. through it. That's why the the mental health counseling because of some things that I had gone through Come on. at my most broken point at the the life coaching is because that's what I needed. I needed somebody <sighs> there. So when you see one, you see all. So Come it, on. it's it's nothing different. Um, I, I wrote a book, Unlocking the Power Within. I love it. And the reason for that was, again, just like everything else, it is to share mm. my journey because the one thing I know about my journey is there's somebody else that's on the journey. Ooh, hold on, hold on. My motto is either you either going through the journey, you're about to go in the journey, or you're on the other side of the journey. Yes. All right, so you got to make up in your mind exactly where you at and then how you deal with your situation accordingly. Yes. So many people don't know how to deal with the situation they had accordingly. That's why it's important for people to have a life coach, a mentor. You know, I tell people all the time, your mentor is your GPS. Yes. All right? So people say, what you mean by that? I'm saying, like, if I tell you I live in Michigan and you have to drive over there, I tell you my address, but you don't put in GPS, how long would it take you to get there? Mm. And you may not get there. And you may not get there. Now, What's so great about the GPS, too, though, is the GPS asks you two questions. Do you want the free route or do you want the pay route? Right, right. The pay route is the route that's quicker. Mm -hmm. The free route, it takes longer. Right. So if you ain't investing in your life coach or your mentor, it's going to take you a little longer. Yes, indeed. And yes. I think people need to understand that that concept. Most definitely. Most definitely, man. You have to. Nobody can make you want anything. Mm, come on, talk about it. You have to want it for yourself. You have to, we all, uh, every single one of us mm. will reach a point in our life when we get tired of our head banging against that wall. Mm. It's not some of us it may take to your <laughs> only grave. It might, it's, you know, I ain't saying when. Come on. But all of us will reach that point yes. where you get tired. You get mm. when you get and my mama used to say, when you get sick and tired of being mm. sick and tired, come on. That's when. But here's the thing is you don't have to. Mm. And you can't blame it on anybody. Mm. When you come to the realization of this, is that what this old boy came to. Come on. I made a choice. Come on. I made the choice. If I made the choice to mess it up, come on. I got to make the choice to fix it. <sighs> it's and, the mindset, man. And let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you something. Come on. I say this all the time. Once you dig a hole and you get in it, it is much, much harder to reach level ground again. Ooh. I tell, and, and let me add to that. I tell people, the, the difference between me and you is you a chicken. I'm an eagle. All right? Your perspective and my perspective different. Right. You down there with the snakes. I can go pick the snake and pick him up to my environment and take him where he can't be. Right. So that's why I tell people, it's your environment. Start to build a vision board and a vision environment. Right. Let me explain the two. The vision environment. The vi people say, all right, my vision, make it plain. Great. 
But who you going to be connected to to help you push the vision board is the most important thing. You hardly see people creating a vision environment. They say, well, I'm, I want to get this car. I want to buy this house. They have the vision board. But I'm like, what's the five people you're going to be around to help you push the vision board? Man, I, and you know, can I take that? Just yes, sir. Another I, level. Take, take it. take that to another? <laughs> it doesn't matter what you want or what you build, but have you the vision mm. and the mentality to keep it? Shh. Everybody talks about getting it. Yes. Everybody wants to get it. Come on. Getting it is actually the easy part. Mm. The hardest thing is to maintain. Uh -oh. Nobody ever uh -oh. asks for the intelligence on how to maintain it. Mm. Oh, I want to get it. I want to get the bag. Okay, guess what? You can get it. Come but on. just as quick as you get it, it will be gone mm. because you don't have the intelligence to keep it. Man. How can you keep it, not only keep it, but help it grow? Mm. So give us give us some of the tools and principles and mindset that helps you keep going. But I, before we do that, I want to talk about you have shows. You have how many shows you do a week? I do two shows a week. I have two shows. What what days you usually do those shows? Uh, Monday I do speak on it with my co-host. Okay, okay. And then on Wednesday it's me running my triple trap. Oh, mm. Unless somebody want to come join me, most <laughs> most time folk be like, oh, Jesus. he's talking a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. So the, what's the difference between the two shows though? Um, like if you had to, like if, if I'm if I'm trying to be an audience. I'm speaking for my audience saying that, okay, we need to follow him. What's the difference between the two shows? And why should people follow the shows? So let's well, let's talk about the first one, which is your co-host. Speak on it with my co-host. It it offers a male female opinion. I got it. I got it. Um it offers the opportunity. Uh, country boy gonna be country boy. I don't care. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna still be me. <laughs> Come on. However, it gives me the opportunity to hear mm. from from a female perspective or from a different perspective. Yes, it has to be female. Yes. from a different perspective. Okay. Um, and we, it's an open discussion between mm. two about anything and everything, and it gives the opportunity for people to see mm. that two people of different sex can be friends. Come on. And that's what it is. Mm. And, and it, they can have a friendship and grow and respect each other. I love it. I love it. All right. So then, so now we are, we, you by yourself in that jungle and you get to get on there. How long? How long? So the first show, how long is the first show? Like how long? Like, like the time wise? Uh, it's about 45 minutes an hour. Okay. And then <laughs> you by yourself. How and, long is that as show? As long as I want to go. <laughs> If I stay on there all night, keep scrolling. I don't care. I, I own the network. <laughs> no, but okay. usually, usually, if I don't have a guest, um, come on, my shows. It may be ten minutes. It may be fifteen. Mm. It may be thirty minutes. Could it's be. it's um, they're usually not long, and the reason is is because with all with with both shows prior to the show, mm -hmm. um, I meditate. Okay. Okay. I don't go in with a – when I do my uh, table talk, I don't go in with a topic. Okay, okay. I meditate, and what God gives me – Is what you speak before on. Before the button hits. Come on. I, and and, and it, it is before it hits. He says, this is what mm. you're doing. Um, and what it does is I allow him to use me. I love it. So so what separates you – so, again, I need to – I'm like, right, I'm going to go to his show – why should people go to your show though? Like, what's the what what's that thing that says, you know? Like me, I, all I, I talk about entrepreneurship every day. So I tell people, if you're trying to find somebody that's talking about entrepreneurship, running my mouth, I'm the person because I post reels, I post long form videos, I post uh, I just post videos about entrepreneurship. I don't never shit up about it. Right. You know, I'm, I'm working on my last name while y'all working on 401k. So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. So, I always, I always talk That's about it. that. So, why should people go to your personal show and really just like, like, what would you tell them? Like, why they should go tune in? I would say for me, if you want open, honest, transparent, mm. if you want to know the no, if you want to know and not feel like somebody's judging you. Come on. Somebody is has has it all together. Mm. Let me let me tell you something. I I have done my show. One show I did right after I went to go file for my divorce. Ooh, come on. I left the courthouse mm. broken and in tears. Mm. 
But that night, <clears throat> I'm sorry, but that night I had a show. Come on, man. I had a show. Man. I, I made a, a commitment to, to God that every Monday, every Wednesday, Relentless. I will be here. I don't care if ain't nobody here. <laughs> I don't care if ain't nobody watching. Come on. I don't care because mm. I'm not doing it for for that. I'm doing it because this is what I was commanded to do. Mm. Uh, my show is about healing. I love it. It is about it is about the pain that we all see. I ain't the one to sit here and lie to nobody and say I want to buy the transparent I, I, man. Look here, well, <laughs> cry like a baby. I hey, cry. hey. And, and they say they don't want me to cry though. They they want to they want to say oh and I and, and I have learned to be so vulnerable since I've been married because my wife had to break me into being vulnerable because you know. You go your whole life and say, "Oh man, it's me, a man. You ain't supposed to be. You know, you gotta be tough. You can't be. You can't be no. You know, you can't be all emotional. You can't. Be. We learn all these bad habits mm -hmm. until my wife said, you, "You gotta learn how to love me. You gotta learn how to be affectionate with me. You gotta stop being so rough with me. I'm not one of your homeboys. You know what I'm saying? So that has to. I had to transition my mind. That's it. I had to transition like, okay, wow, okay, she's she's my prices jewel." That I need to I need to treat as such versus just another chick from the streets trying to just have sex with. Well, see, I, I'm gonna ask you. <laughs> remember, I told you something. Yes, the, sir. The most important thing. Yes, sir. Was not the what; it was the why. Mm. You said that she had to break you. Yes. No, you allowed yourself. That's to true. Be broken. That's true. And That's true. why is because you saw mm. something precious. Mm. You saw, like, you know what. This ain't this ain't <laughs> this ain't McDonald's <laughs> Hill. Yeah. So at the point of when we seeing something mm. or someone that's valuable, come on. The why? Mm. Why are you going through that? Mm. Mm. Cause the why is worth it. Man, it's so it's so worth it. There's a game I always play on my show. I call it the word game. I say a word, I tell you the acronym of the word, and you tell me what it means. Wow. Are you ready? Man, you know I'm from country. <laughs> <laughs> I, I won't try now. I okay. ain't the, I ain't the smallest fella now. Let's go. Hope. Help other people excel. What that mean to you? Never stop believing. Mm, I like that. Never. Because you, you're very consistent. The second word is luck. Luck. Luck stands for labor under correct knowledge. What that mean to you? Labor under correct knowledge. Something to think about. That is because you said look. And, and, and see, I, I get said look, look. I know, and yeah. I, get, I get hung up on the word because, <laughs> yeah. see, here's the reason. Mm. It's because I don't think that there's anything as. It's because you don't put in, you ain't going to get out. Ooh, and, come on. Talk to them. So there ain't no such thing as luck. Mm. You know, some people say, well, I got lucky when I went to the store and bought a ticket. Come no, on. but you went to the store. So mm, ain't got Take action. That's that's the key. Ain't no luck. Taking action. Okay, poor, which means passing over opportunity repeatedly. What's your thoughts on that? If you don't want it, you can't get it. Mm, that's that poor mindset, though. If you don't want it. I tell people all the time, like, when, when people invite me places – like, I went to two events back-to-back -back last night. I'm like, I left one event, go to another event. I'm like, but it's it's the mindset. Yes. It's the it's the understanding that I don't know who I'm going to meet over here, but I'm going to go shake hands with these people. Right. Then I'm going to transition, go over here and shake hands with these people. Now these people know who I am. I know who they are. For you know it. Oh, you got a podcast? Oh, you got this? Man, let's meet up, man. Oh, yeah, man, I come. You know what I'm saying? You look up, we having a podcast gala going down. Right. 250 people in the building. We lit, man, but I just but it's just putting yourself in the right spot. It is. Um, the next one is money. Acronym. Momentarily owned, not externally yours. Mm. Mm. <laughs> worthless. Mm. It's worthless, man. Worthless. That's crazy. Cause I tell people all the time, like, money's just a tool. That's it. All right. When you understand money's a tool, but you gotta treat money like oxygen. You need to survive. So it's a tool, but it's still like you need that money to survive. You know, if your money's stuck, I mean, your, your life shop, you know, it can change. The next one is DNA, the acronym. The D is your design, the N's to notice, and the A is your assignment. Mm. 
Mm. So what's your thoughts on the word DNA? Wow. <laughs> mm. That is walking in it. Mm, yes. That, that is that is that is the foundation of it. Come on. Um man, knowing see, man, wow, that's deep. <laughs> and, and and I say that is because Come on. The worst death Come on. is a person that leaves this earth mm. and never discovers their passion. You know my motto is die empty. That's it. The reason why is I want to leave everything behind. This is one of three more books I'm about to release. So I want to leave everything behind. Yeah. I, my thing is die empty. I don't want my ideas to go to the grave site. So like this content, when we both go on, somebody can go watch it and say, man, country boy, he was on. Man, I, I, I found you're going to have somebody ain't even born yet. <laughs> I found him. And, man, I went to his, and now I got stuck on his page for five days because he got so much content. You know what I'm saying? What's amazing is people would text me or they would hit me in a DM and say, man, I found your page. And all of your reels, entrepreneur, I was just on there flipping and, and, and I'm like, man, then I, I then you got a podcast. Oh man, you got hundreds of episodes. Oh, and then I found your wife. It's like the content don't stop, man. Right. Right. You just keep pumping out the content because we wanna die empty, bro. That is that is so many people miss that, but that is mm. that's what it's about. Mm. It, it is for us to pour out everything. <sighs> See. Let me tell you something. This is what I learned. Come on. Whether we know it or not or want to believe it or not, Mm -hmm. what we will leave behind is a legacy. Mm -hmm. The greatest part about that is we get to choose what it looks like. Talk about it. Talk about it. What it looks like. Yes. We get to choose that. Mm -hmm. And we can't blame it on nobody. Mm -hmm. We can't. Mm -hmm. We get to choose what our legacy Mm -hmm. looks like. That is the greatest thing. I tell people, legacy is greater than currency. Yes. Because it's the legacy piece. It's the information. It's the voice the voice notes I'm going to leave. It's the, you know what I'm saying? I ask this question. If you got a time capsule about this big, this big, and you can leave three things in there for people to remember you by, what would it be? Mm-hmm. They can dig it up a thousand years later and say, Shh, this who country boy was. Man, come I'm, on! I'm gonna leave boot, my boots up that, in there. That boots, come on! <laughs> that, that's a good one. I love it. So you gonna leave your boots? I'm gonna leave my boots. Okay, okay. That's uh, one thing. Man, your I'm gonna, book. At least your book. They I'm can know how you was thinking. My, leave my book, and then the, and I, I say my, I, I say this a lot. My lifesaver, a picture of my baby. Mm, that's good too, because we all we all looking for some kind of motivation to push us to new levels. Yeah. And I tell people that every day, every day you you wake up, you got to dive into that something that that can push you yeah. to the next level. Um, man, the, the other acronym is denial, and there's an acronym, and this is this is a heartfelt one because I see it every day. The acronym is "Don't even notice I am lying." People in denial every day, they lie to themselves every day. What's your thoughts on that? Dead. That's mm. that's. Basically, what it is when, when we deny and and we're lying to ourselves, mm. we are, we're dead. Come on, um, that's the worst place to be, <sighs> is to be walking dead. Mm. But I tell people this: people are like, man, my life hard, my life. I said, listen, the feeble later you put on your heart, when it go beep, what that mean? You dead. As long as it's going doom doom, doom doom, doom doom. So as long as your life going up and down, up and down, challenges, good today, bad attitude tomorrow, <laughs> great. Today, you know what I'm saying? As long as it's doing that, hey, you live and talk to you me. You know, man. It, it's, it's talk funny to you me. Say that, man. <laughs> Boy, look here, look here. What 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 people? If y'all want to hear something, the old country bug on. Come say, on, talk I'm to him. Tell you this. <laughs> Too many people strive mm. and strive and strive and strive for the mountaintop. Mm. Let me tell you something. Come on. The mountaintop experiences is only flashes. Come on. 
you will spend more time in the valley. Talk about if it. you cannot appreciate the valley, mm. you can never respect the mountaintop when you get there. <sighs> Too many people trying to get some. Tomorrow Come on. is only Come on. in the future a vision that may mm. come possibly. Yesterday, mm. you can't go back there no mm-hmm. matter what you Mm-mm. do. Mm-mm. You, you, even if you say I'm going to sleep, you, if you do, <laughs> you, you ain't going to get back to yesterday. Come on. What we have in this life is this moment. The present. This very moment. Mm. See, because y'all know what? Let me tell you something. In, 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 in all honesty. Talk to the, him. The, the, the rapper that just passed away. Um, I so many. I mean, uh, losing track. That was that was that was performing. Mm. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, uh, 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 yeah, yeah. Go, keep going. It's gonna pop up. But here's the thing. Remember, it was a moment. Mm. At that moment, mm. that was it. That's how life is for real, for real. Come on. I don't know why people don't think that's for real, for real. Mm. We hear this moment. If you don't embrace it. Come on. If you don't do all you can in this moment, tomorrow ain't guaranteed. Mm. Don't say I'm going to say sorry tomorrow. Mm. Say it today. When you got it, you better use it. I tell people this. Yesterday is history. It is. Tomorrow is a mystery. But today is the gift. That's why we call it the present. That's it. So we're living in the present. This is a moment we can't get back right now. Can't. But this is a moment that can be remembered. Yes. So when the videos upload, people say, oh, man, I'm going to watch it again. I have so many people say, oh, man, I watch your video multiple times. Or, man, I like it. And you know what's crazy? When you build your audience, you'll get a group of people that's like, yeah, I love your guests. The group of people say, hey, man, you need to be on there by yourself sometimes. <laughs> I, like when, I like when you're by yourself. Because you, 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 cause when I'm by myself, I'm usually giving out, like, tips, and I'm giving out, like, I'm like, write down this goal, seven steps, being a better entrepreneur. No, no, I'm, I mean, they love that. And then you got a group of people like, man, keep bring us more guests. You know what I'm saying? So it's just once you build your audience, right. that's the beauty of everything. So dancing <laughs> videos, TikTok. Let's talk about some of that, man. Yay! Let's talk about that. So so <laughs> what, what, what made you want to put the dancing and all this on TikTok? And like, what was that? It was my moment. <clears throat> my opportunity to openly, openly give thanks and to give praise. Mm, come um, on, come on. You know, and I'll tell y'all, man. That's that's why I, this old boy got some pretty tough skin because I done heard <laughs> some things. I done heard I you, can't dance. I say I ain't dancing for you. Come on, um, come on. You know, I was uh, I was approached when I first started doing TikTok. A couple things happened. Mm. First thing was I was approached by somebody to say, you know. Ain't she's a minister? Uh oh, uh oh. Thou judging, they judging you. I say it, and I am. <laughs> well, you know, you, you. Sh- I said, let me tell you something. Mm. I said, let me explain something to you. Talk what, about what it. I do openly is probably what y'all do in secret. Ooh. I say because I ain't got no. I don't know why folks be running around lying <laughs> and trying to hide from folks and this, that, and that. Let me tell y'all something. Maybe y'all don't understand. Maybe you don't even believe. Come but on. look here. The good law sees you. So yes. why is you worried about what folks say mm. about you? Now, it did. It shocked me. And it took me a minute. I had to. I had to I had, Bounce back. Well, I had to gather myself because I was in a rock. Come on. I'm, I'm from, I'm from Come on. I'm from the rock. Come on. I'm from the rock with it, roll with it, lean with it. <laughs> but, but it was, I approached it. Respectfully, mm. but again, it's my worthless two cents. Yes, I don't need your approval. Mm. That's good. I broke that mold a long time ago of needing acceptance from folks. That's good. I don't. Mm. I don't. Every day I get up. Every day Come I on. push to be better than I was yesterday. Come on. Every day I am grateful. So yeah, I tick her talker boy. <laughs> I, I will tick her to the Come talker. On. Come on. Um, you know, and I, one of the other things, let me tell y'all something. Never stop believing, never Ooh, stop doing. Tell them. And I say this, I never say anything that I ain't went through. Come on. It was June 13th of 2022. Talk about it. I was called into my office at work. Mm. Sat down at 8.15 in the morning. Come on. For them to say, well, we think you doing some ticker talkers. Yeah. 
And it feels that you was on company time. Again, it was one of the moments where I wanted to jump. I okay, was still okay. <laughs> but let me tell you, Grace, and I sat there and I listened and I accepted. Yes, sir. Because, I, you know, it's not about what people do to us. It's not about what people say to us. It is how we respond and how we yes. handle it. Yes, yes, yes. And I got up from there. I said, thank you. That very day. That very day, I say, look, I am expecting a package to come here. Can y'all just call me when it gets in? Mm. June 13th, my designer, my worthless two cents, Uh-oh. Louisiana Country Boy Shoes, come on. they arrived at that place that day when mm. they let me go. So back to saying TikTok and all, yeah. do what you if you're doing again, people, hmm. here's the thing. Uh oh, uh oh. Here's the thing, old boy gonna tell you. <laughs> if you're trying to do this for folks, understand some. Them same ones that lift you up, gonna knock you down. We'll be right there to tear you down. <laughs> so understand why you're building and who. Mm. Understand the why. The why. Because this is the thing, though, because I, I, I love creating content. Because I tell people, I'm creating content. So that, and I, I, my, I think about evergreen content. So I want somebody to watch my content 20 years from now and be like, man, this dude was on to something. And this is why he made $100 million. He talked about entrepreneurship. He gave us all this free advice. He, listen, this was crazy. Napoleon Hill, the author of um, Think and Grow Rich, mm-hmm. been dead since 1970. And I'm still getting emails from him. Mm. Because he he created so much content that they the foundation and picked them up and they releasing content. Some of wow. his quotes. Every, I mean, this is where that's why I tell people document your moments. Yes, yes. document yes. them because those moments can be remembered yes. and people can know. Like, hey man, man, look, me and my wife we did a, a nine day road trip. Man, we vlogged the whole thing. We can go back on YouTube and say, man, started in Texas. And finished. I uh, went to Baton Rouge, went to um, went to uh, Atlanta, Georgia, went to South Carolina, went to uh, uh, Montgomery, Alabama, see the Martin Luther King stuff. Uh, went to Tennis- Na- Nashville, Tennessee. Then we ended up in New Orleans, Louisiana, for two days. Then we came back home. Wow! So we did thirty nine hundred miles in nine days. Wow! And so we it's we documented it. That's what it's about. It's something to see. Yes. Like, man, we just document the moment because I think I think we really missing that. So what are you seeing in content? Are you you scared of chat GPT? Are you embracing it? Uh, my, you don't know what that is? I don't even know what that is now. <laughs> I, don't know, I don't know what that is. Well, it's, it's supposed to be a content creator oh, what? thing oh. where people can just type in with content and then it's supposed to help them create content. But what about being original? That's the thing. What about, you know. In- People are lazy. Yeah. So. <laughs> Everybody trying to get to the mountaintop. Ain't nobody trying to stay in the valley. Everybody- no, nah, they're trying, they trying to get a helicopter. You're uh, you trying to walk up there. They're trying to get a helicopter and get dropped off. Man, but. but you know, let me, <laughs> well, you know what? Talk to me. Like you just said, and, and maybe, maybe, maybe in a country where y'all will get this. Mm. He just talked about the trip that he and his wife took. And it wasn't just. Those places he stopped that made the trip. Mm-hmm. It was the journey along the way. It yes. was all those little things. They probably stopped over here and they ate something. Man, and like, we were everywhere. This is wow. I didn't know that this was wow. We was on a civil. Basically, we was on the civil rights movement mm. to see all the civil rights stuff. I mean, from Atlanta to the right. Montgomery, Alabama, to see all the slaves. It was, it was mind blowing. It was emotional. I was weak. I was crying. It was just it's a lot. And it and it's taking that in and it's mm. it's embracing the steps. Yes. yes. You know, how many of y'all come on that, talk that, to that, him. that listen to his show right here would be so aggravated if you got chillings. <laughs> if if when they came up out the womb, they were straight up walking. Mm. And you they don't want you to hold them because they, you know, <laughs> they, they independent. Yeah. They they came out, boom, they teenagers now. Mm. They want, how many of you would be like, What happened? Well, where was that m- m- moment? Mm, like, that's good. That's a good analogy. Don't you want to take we want to rush to everybody mm. wants microwaves. Everybody. 
I want me an old slow cooked meal. Come on. I don't want no collard greens cooked in the microwave. <laughs> I don't want none of them. No, man. I want slow cooked. Yes. Yes. Slow. Yes. And people miss that. You know, folks always talk about, maybe that's why I, I can talk about relationships because I didn't have four marriages. Let okay, me tell you, come on, talk about it. <laughs> look, maybe that's why everybody talk about relationship don't work because you want something quick. You want it to be here, mm. here, here. Don't you know it takes time to learn? It, you got to simmer that thing. Ooh, tell them. That thing got a slow cook. Mm. Everybody trying to rush it, but he ain't this, that, and other. Well, dang, you ain't new him but two hours. Come on. Well, I mean, how much... How much you want somebody to open up to you and <laughs> express to you? Well, 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 he didn't do this. Well, he don't know you. Mm. He don't know nothing about you. Talk about it's it. It's those things when you take time, and that can be applied to everything. Oh, that's good. Work, business, relationships. That's good. Health, everything. Mm. Take the time. Enjoy mm. the journey. Quit trying to rush to get somewhere. Look at him. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Come on. You're rushing. You got to know there's an end at the thing <laughs> called death. Come Is on. you rushing to the grave? Ooh. I'm just saying. We ain't rushing to the grave. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Embrace the moment. Slow down. There you go. Slow down. I, so, <laughs> I want to say this. Come on, talk to me. Shut up. Yes, sir. No, talk to me. Many years ago, mm. many, many, and this is the honest to God truth, and I say this, I wrote something mm. on a sticky note probably in 19... 19- 89. Come on, come on. And I still have to this day, and I go back and I look at it. I love it. It says, slow down and enjoy the journey. <sighs> Just slow down. Every time I feel like rushing, I owe my old wallet up, and there it is. Slow down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Slow down. Slow down and enjoy the journey. And I think I think the problem is, is that we're living in a society that everything looks fast, and some people... They want to, the next generation, this is why I tell my wife all the time, I say, you know why next generation never outwork me? Because they don't want to work. They don't want to work. They they want this, oh, somebody got famous on TikTok, I'm going to do that tomorrow. I'm like, but do you, that's like, it's not a lot of people that just getting super, You it's sometimes you'll go viral. But I'm saying like, let's be reasonable, man. I mean, you see. But there's, there's a kiss to that thing. Come on. Come on. And you're right. A lot of people see other people, and they see these things, and they want these things. Let yes. me tell you something. And, and I don't know nothing about your personal life, but I guarantee you, if today somebody say, man, I trade places with you, and they had to live and do what, what it took you to get man, where you to get at, here today. There's, a, there's a difference. You can see somebody here. But let me tell you something. Behind the scenes. Come on. Behind the scenes. You know, when the cameras go off, when we ain't TikToking. <laughs> When we ain't ticker talking, okay? Come on, When you come ain't on. podcasting. See, life, you, you know, you, yes. want, you want this, but but guess what? Mm. There are some things that comes along with this. So you got to, you can't just say, I want this part. Mm. You got to take it all. Mm. Every bit of it. And let me tell you, ain't nobody, not a single person, not one iota of a person that has anything that I would switch places with. Come on. No, because I don't know what you had to go through. Come on. And I know <laughs> if what I went through was tough Woo. and I'm where I'm at, <laughs> uh-uh, no, no, sir. And I think I think people, I tell people all the time, people see the glory, but they don't know your story. Yeah, they they, they see the glory. They're like, man, I'm like, I had to walk away from the railroad. I had to ask my wife, hey, but what you think? She was like, man, I got it. She said, I'm going to hold us down, go get that money. You know what I'm saying? Those are the little steps. She put that battery in my back. I'm like, I'm about to make this thing happen. Now she job free. It's just, it's the mindset, man. Yes. It's how you position everything. So what do you tell your 13-year-old self so that today your life look different? Mm. What do you tell them? Nothing. Mm. Nothing. Just See, embrace it. And, and the reason is, is because everything had to happen. For a reason. Every That's step. good. That's good. I ain't finna say a word. That's good. I'm just gonna be over there. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you know, and, and that's it. Why would if I change something? See, mm. that's what oh my God. Come me. on. Come on. What people miss and they talk about changing. Come on. Don't you know? If you change one thing, you change the whole trajectory Ooh, of everything. Come on. One little thing. Mm. One little, one little, well, 
if I could go back and change that 10 minute. Mm. Don't you know the ripple effect of just that 10 minute? I'd have put you on a whole nother, a whole nother path. Whole nother. Mm. Whole nother. That's good. I think people need to hear that, though, because so many people, they want to see where you at today, and it's like, man, I said, do you know the late hours I put in, the late night grind, the 18-hour days? I mean, do you really know, like, the work that was put in, you know what I'm saying, to be able to afford, you know, a $10,000 podcast room? Do you know kind of work? That was put in to buy all this stuff and to really embrace it and to learn it. Now I'll teach it. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's a lot. But people, they just say, oh, yeah, I can do that. Shh, good luck. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather get a mentor. That that just me. I tell people, if your mentor don't have a mentor, y'all both students. Yes. So you need he need that person need to be seeking somebody that's trying to help them get somewhere. And that's it, man. You You always, you always, you always, you know, and that's me. There's so many people that that I look to and that I respect mm. and, and that I have I have been able to glean off of. Mm. And that's the thing is is about gleaning. And that's the thing why I do this is is what I do is to allow to pour mm. it out again. What you say it yes. empty, empty. empty. Gotta die empty. Empty can't be full. Mm-mm. So what you see your show going the next three to five years? Like give us. A, a trajectory of per, what you think is going to be like three to five years. Anything you want to change up, you know? Man, you know what? I don't cut, but I don't even know it. You know, <laughs> I, you know it's, Going with the flow. I'm rolling with the flow. I it, love it. It has been definitely a blessing. Honest mm. to God. You know, I, I, I tell you, y'all might look at me and be like, who, oh, that sucker there. <laughs> Let me tell you, I have I've sat at the table. Come on. Honest to God with, with people that Mm. I would never imagine. Come on. I, I have sat with, with, with dignitaries. Mm. I, I have sat with, with stars. Come on. I have been able to, on my, my show, been able to interview some people Come on. that I admired. I'm talking about, I was like, oh, for real, you're calm. <laughs> you, you, you come, my. Yes. To be able to have that and to have people call and to be able to know that this mm. touches someone. The most powerful thing for me, come on, is to get a message or to get a text or to get an email mm. that somebody either watched the show or saw and a video it, that it. was about to go through something or was at the <laughs> edge and they saw this old boy right here mm. and they say thank you. Because thank you, because that just inspired me. That just made me not want to quit, not want to give up. Come on. I um uh, I believe in that. Mm. I do from my heart. Come on. The other reason I do is I give to people what I wished I would have had. Ooh, now you talking my language. Now that's my language. That's why I, that's why I got the studio. Because I always looking for somebody like, where can I go that somebody can teach me how to do a website, video editing, they can teach me how to build my brand. They can also teach me how to put systems in place. I build that for other people. Right. Because, but all the money I spend to make myself valuable, they don't have to spend that much money right. because now I know the, the play and I assist. So I'm like, I'm be, I want to be that person. I mean, I have some 23-year-olds, 23, 23, 23 23-year-old guys in here. And I said, man, I said, I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm not tooting my horn, but I wish I had me. When I was y'all age. Right, right. Somebody who had a studio, somebody who already got website systems, per, everything already in place, teaching motive. I wish I, I didn't have nobody. Everybody in my family was working somewhere. Right. And I was 18 and started a graphic design company. I'm 43 today, but I was 18 starting wow. a graphic design company. And, and people, oh, what you doing? <laughs> they, they, they can't help me They can't help me I don't know nothing about that yeah. you, So you trying to try a business yeah, You're supposed to be working You're supposed to go look for a job But that's, it. that's Man I'm like Man I, I said I need to be that That person And so When it comes to entrepreneurship When it comes to amazing people like yourself I want these people to To be Man this year alone That's why the podcast Gala is so, gonna be so huge Man it's gonna be about 200 million dollars in that building of different people, man, that I didn't interview, people my wife didn't interview, and then we, me and her interviewed together. It's just so, it's crazy. I'm like, wow. 
What is it? But God said, listen, I prepared a place for y'all. Shit. Y'all can y'all can impact the whole city. Yes, indeed. Light the city up. And the 250 out of 7 million people, all it's going to do is spread like wildfire. Yes. Then the next year, 500. Next year, 1,000. You know what I'm saying? So it's just being consistent. So how important is being consistent to you? Oh, man. that's Come that, on. That is the most important thing. Mm. You know, it, it's crazy because people are. It's just it, mm. it's just what do you choose to be consistent at. You mm. know, you, you can't say somebody that sits on the couch all day and consistent because <laughs> they are. They're consistently sitting there. That's true. He, you know, and that's the thing. What you say, mindset. Mm. You change your mindset. People... I, well, I'm not. Yes, you are. Mm. You consistently go and, and smoke your weed every day. You consistent. That's, that's you true. consistently go and drink every day. You mm. are consistent. Mm. You consistent. It's the, what do you want? That's true. Again, why? Mm. Why are you are you are you not doing anything? Because my why is I, I don't feel like I can. Mm. Well, then what you need to do, if everybody around you is supporting your, you can't. <sighs> Go find you some friends that support that you can. Vision environment. That's it. Vision that's environment. That's it. You know, and, and and that's what, for me, that's what it's all about. Yes. You know, my my, my speaking engagements or preaching engagements, whatever you might want to call them. Talking to I, the people. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? Whether you at the church or I'm at somebody's house, you gonna I'm the pouring inside of you. You know what I'm saying? That's it. I'm pouring my cup yes. inside of you. Yes. The problem is, I, always, I like to use this analogy. Imagine, imagine we had a, a glass right here. Mm-hmm. The glass represents your body. We take a cup of water and pour that cup of water in that glass. It represents the positive energy, represents everything that you're about. You take the dime, you drop the dime in the glass, and guess what? The dime represents your vision. Mm. You take a teaspoon, <laughs> teaspoon <laughs> of Coke darkness mm. and you pour it in there your vision become cloudy yes so this is why it's very important to be careful who you plugging into and what you plugging into right on a right. daily basis right and sometimes i gotta let some of my friends i had to let some of my friends go because where i'm going they ain't sewing hey that's the man <laughs> hey <laughs> Man, that's 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 a wine dang dealy right there, boy. Look here, cause you know the fact is, mm. honestly, and Come I on. country boy ain't talking about nothing. Y'all know. Come on. Fact is, we be trying to drag folks to Ooh, places. Come on. I, I ain't say care. We be dragged, <laughs> done, done wrapped a rope around them and pulling them. They don't even want. They don't want to go. And we trying. Don't you know we finna be rich? And they like, I just want to sit over here. Mm. And and we. We be trying to pull people to places mm. that they are uncomfortable with. Oh, my God. Here's the thing. Let yes, me sir. tell you something. Let yes, me tell sir. you something. Yes, this, sir. This will just gave to my spirit. If you really want to impact them, mm. then be the best possible you. Come on. You can be. Then what that does is say they was cool with you. Now they looking at you. Mm. They ain't looking at you trying to pull them to a place mm. they uncomfortable, but they was comfortable with you. So won't you make them feel mm. comfortable? Sometimes, most of the time, all the time, we have to accept people for right where they are. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Not trying to make them be somewhere where we are. Mm. And a lot of times we are afraid to go. That's why we trying to pull them. Crazy. So we don't really want to go out there, but, but I ain't got nobody to go with me. Go alone. Go alone. Then what you can do is you can go out. You can get it. You can maintain it. And then you can go back mm. and you can show them. Mm. Let me tell you, that was a man. Talk about it. Sitting at a pool mm. for 38 years. <sighs> waiting. Waiting for for, for somebody to come and put him in to be healed. All right. Waiting. He's sitting there, sitting there. Just, <laughs> ah, everybody. With, with everything that we sit there with. Mm. Well, everybody else be getting in. Mm. Uh, I see them folks over there coming and getting come in. On, and, come and on, somebody put them in. But won't nobody put me in. He was asked the one question. Do you want to? Mm. Come on. Now, what people missed is that fella never got in the pool. Mm. He could walk the whole time. 
Wow. But the thing is, somebody had to say, but do you want to? Because guess what? You waiting on somebody else to do this, but do you want to? Mm. Do you want to? Everybody has to want for themselves. Come on, talk about it. At the point that he wanted to, he was able to get up, mm. carry the same stuff he had been sitting in. Let's go. With him and move on. Mm. Everyone should sit and ask they question that, that's they self that same question. Mm. When you're sitting, look at yourself. Mm. If you don't like where you're at, don't ask your friends. Take action. Ask yourself, do I want to be here? Mm. That was a saying somebody said that you should always finish a question like this or a statement like this. Whatever happens, you should finish it like this. Come on. That's exactly how I want it to be. Mm, that's good. If you finish, while well, I'm sitting here in this trash. That's exactly how I want it to be. If it ain't, then guess what? Mm, do something about it. <laughs> man, listen, man, listen, listen. <laughs> so many gems, so many things been dropped. So I'm about to throw him the alley hoop right now. Ooh, now, is there any questions you want to ask me? You could take over. You can ask me a question. Whatever's on your mind. I, I like to leave the floor open. Oh. So I let I, 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 I like to shift the conversation and say, is there anything you want to ask me? Man. Why? Man. Man. Why? My mom passed away at 50. 2010. Time, bro. Growing up in poverty, growing up, growing up, just not, not having, and decided to be different. Decided to say, I'm going to work for myself and not for somebody else. And I'm going to figure that took me a long time, bro. Been job free going on four years now. And it took me a long time. People used to talk about me, though. They said, Oh, you can't keep a job. You always trying to be an entrepreneur. You know what I'm saying? Those same people, they still in the same spot. Mm -hmm. I got this studio. We're about to build our own 10,000 square foot studio, a content creation house. I'm building a podcast network. Listen, I don't listen to nobody. I'm locked. I'm so locked in. And the conversation I hear, I used to hear from people, I didn't really hear them because they used to just bounce off and they was just giving me fuel. Right. They right. was giving me fuel. That's why I like the song like, you donkeys know I'm the GOAT. That's why I keep working, man. man. That's my why. My why is just burning. You know, and, and, and if your why don't make you cry, you ain't passionate about it. Yes. If yeah. your why don't make you cry. Yes. And I tell people, this is an acronym for why. It's what's hurting you. Yes. What's hurting you is what fuels you to get up. So I tell people every single day, it's some, it's some, it's some people looking and trying to copycat who I am. But you can't copy me because I got my own DNA. So I told my wife, I said, what's, what's going to shake people up when they see you and me both pull up in that Lambo? Mm -hmm. You got the Lambo SUV. I got the Lambo car. The conversation didn't change and the price didn't change. It's your why, man. How bad do you want it, bro? I mean, it's in, my, it's in my blood to help others, though. I serve others, though. I, as passionate as I am about the podcast stuff, I really... When, when I talk to people about podcasts, no, I talk to people about building their brand. Man, I really dump information because I was looking for somebody like me, right. and I couldn't find them. I had to go piece them together, and them other people, yeah, the other people knew. I know what they know now. Hey, that's it. That's it's it. over. That's it. Well, let me ask you this. Come on, talk to me, man. Talk Let's to see me. How, 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 how old boy phrase this whole thing here? Mm. What has been your greatest, biggest, hardest challenge? Walking away from the railroad. And knowing my wife said, if something happened, the man in me right. was like, oh, man, do I trust her? Mm. The man in me, do I trust her? But then she said, hey, walk away from the railroad. Go for your dreams, and I got us if something happened. It's one of my biggest challenges, bro. Because the man in me, you know, maybe another dude probably be like, oh, I, get to, I get to be job free, chill. But me, <laughs> I'm like, the money good, everything's fine, I'm good. But she was like, walk away. 
And I had this book sitting on the shelf for 10 years. But when I walked away, I finished that book in a year. Wow. Wow. You wow. know what I'm saying? And it's really like understanding like, man. And so now that's why we build a brand, One Marriage, Two Hustlers. Because now I'm showing her journey. I'm helping her in her journey with her brand. So it's both got, you know, we're building three multi-million dollar brands. So, and, and it's the belief, man. There's a word inside of belief. It's a three-letter word. When you write down the word believe, and it says lie. Mm. Once you learn how to get delusional and lie to yourself about where you're trying to go, that means that you have to already see yourself there before you get there. Yes. Some of y'all waiting to get there to see it. You never gonna get there. Man, man, <laughs> man, man. <laughs> you know, in preaching times, in preaching times, you Come know on. what that is? Talk about it. In preaching times. Come on. In, in in the house, mm. you have to be it mm. before you become it. <sighs> Too many people think that when I get no, 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 no. no, no, no. no, no. If you're not already walking in it, Ooh. if you're not already walk, too many people. <laughs> All right, break I, it down, break it down, in layman's <laughs> term. <laughs> okay, for your for your unmarried people. Yes, go ahead, go ahead. He that findeth a wife. Ooh. That we'll talk about. Findeth a good thing mm. and obtains favor. Uh oh. Uh oh. He that findeth a wife mm. did mm. not say he that maketh her a wife. Ooh. Preach on it. It says he that findeth mm. a wife. Mm. Then that means she must have already been walking in it. Mm. She was already, she didn't become a wife when you put the ring on her finger. Mm, talk you about just it. sealed the deal mm. because she was already that. Not, mm. I, ain't, I ain't saying women. <laughs> I said wife. Then yeah. get it right. Yeah, dude. Y'all, everybody, everybody <laughs> female ain't a wife, okay? I ain't knocking you. I'm just telling what the facts yes, is. Yes, yes. But he that findeth a wife. Yes, sir. How do you know she's a wife? Because mm. she's already walking. What she mm. told you wasn't anything but a wife. Wife. And look, and I tell people this, it's so crazy though, because I tell people, I said, man, listen, when you're on this journey of life, you you see so many obstacles. And you like, and this is why you gotta be careful. It's it, you're gonna make it's two two choices you can make, man, that can destroy you. The woman you connect yourself to mm-hmm. and your your daily movements. Because your daily movements, what you the money I'm making today is moves I made two or three years ago. Right. So I need people to understand that. They, they thinking that, oh, man, you make it. I'm like, no, 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 no. I got multiple streams of income, not just one. So I need people to know they can't know the, all the play, but I, t- I tell them some of the play. And some of the plays I'm running, you can't see. Right. So don't just think I'm just on this podcast. I got other stuff you can't see that's making money. You know what I'm saying? And so I think it's so important that as as two men here talking, it's like, man, people need to hear conversations like this. They need to hear it because so many people don't hear it. And matter of fact, I had a guy last night. Um, he said, oh, man. I said, man, me and my wife, we work together every day. We come to the studio. I, what? You work with your woman every day? I'm like, every day, bro. She my best friend. She my dog. She my – we, we got a handshake. I love this woman to death because right. the thing is she allowed me to believe in myself more than I believed in me. Cause if I wouldn't have met her, I probably would be still at that railroad. I'm going to be honest with you. Right. Y'all right. been like, man, shit, I got, I got to make this money. I can't leave this place. I made 10 times more money than the railroad can ever pay me by just building my brand and being me. And that's man. That's uh, so important. Yes. We must. Mm. You can't feel bad mm. for leaving behind the things that no longer serve you. Woo, that's good. That's good. What do you mean, country boy? <laughs> Look at him. Each and every one of us had a pair of pants or some shoes. Mm. We was a kid that we loved. Come on. Go try to put them on now. <laughs> you can't 
feel bad for leaving things behind mm. that no longer serve you. Come because on. if you're holding on to things that no longer serve you, Come on. that which is there and being presented <sighs> to serve you can't serve you because now the thing that can't serve you is getting your time. Wow. They missing it, though. They missing it. And that's so deep. So, any more questions? Man. Or, you well, know. Well, you know, tell me about your book. Oh, so, look, the book the book is called One. Why Now Is Your Time. Why Now Is Your Time. We talk about three principles. We talk about life, brand, legacy. I'm a big believer that you should design a life you want, create the brand you deserve, but most importantly, leave your legacy. All right? So, I build my brand off of Why Now Is Your Time. So, this is part one. The next, the next book is um, How I Made My Millions from My Own Products. I'm I'm a big I'm big on building your brand with your own products. Yes, like your coaching program. I would love to just see your page, how you speaking to them, how you how you putting them in the funnel, taking them in the funnel, and get you know what I'm saying. So I, I I'm intrigued with business, and so I mean as you can see at the top, I said don't. Be the opposite of what the world think you should be, man. Be the opposite. Because when everybody went right, I automatically went left. Now, let me tell you the danger by going left. Going right, the trail is already blazed. Mm. Going left, you're going to have bumps. You're going you're gonna to gonna run into things that, that, that you know what I'm saying? When the, when, when, when the road is free, when we're on the freeway, it's open. But when you're going in the woods, it's something different. Right. It's something that can kill you, something you don't know. So, I mean, I... Be the opposite. So this book is just the first of many series that God put in my heart. I have a children's book I'm working on um, called uh, The Little Adventures of Ink. It's about eleven year old black kid, and um, he goes in, he goes in the book and he just motivates the motivates the world on like, hey man, you can you can be the best school teacher, man. You can be this. So he go, I'm I'm, I'm gonna do that book and I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop I'm gonna drop a coloring book with it. Wow. So you wow. know, um, and hopefully, um, if God said the same, I'm gonna make a cartoon character. Hey. So it's gonna be a, a it's gonna be a mixture of um, Jimmy Neutron and a baby kids. Mm. So it's gonna be a, a mixture of like this black kid. He's very intelligent, but he grows up. He's, he basically me. He grows up in the hood, but nobody believing in his dreams but him. Wow. You know what I'm saying? So wow. I'm I'm really you know and so man and then my wife she writing her book and then we writing a book. So we writing a book. Uh, now Jump. that should be interesting. How 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 big of a part you gonna play in that one? It's you know what it is? It's it's us having conversations about business. Mm. How we work together every day. So it'll be like it'll be like chapter one, um, what did we learn about joining our business together? And she was like, Well, I learned this, and I was like, Yeah, but this is what I learned. So it's like a conversation we're having about business and then giving have like different tips and stuff on how people can build their business out together. Right. Cause I see us going on tour and all that. So I, I really see one marriage, two hustlers going from state to state on tour. Man. You know what I'm saying? Cause I, um, I do this year. I told my wife, I said, I put in the atmosphere. I want to do at the improv. I want to do a live podcast with me and her. And I want to bring in people like yourself, people like um, some more people that we met and then just turn it up. It's, it's going to be an untraditional podcast. Oh, it's going to be it's going to be crazy. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be have a DJ. This is going to be like, hey, man, have singles on this side, married people on this side. Let's have a conversation. Hey, you know what I'm hey, saying? Wow. <laughs> you know well, going to start something. <laughs> Let's go. <Yeah. laughs> That's what it's about. So I want to I want to shake up Houston like that. And like I said, man, we today we're in this building. But, man, God has shows up. I mean, I was just looking at a three point two million dollar business, 25 square feet. So I don't know if, if that's the plan or do God want me to build it from scratch. I'm just I'm just trying to follow his lead. Cause I I only pray for two things. Favor and wisdom. That's it. Mm. I said, God, give me the favor, all right, so that I can have the wisdom to know what room to go in. Yes. yes. And when I go in that room, the favor of me will drop in that room. Because I mean the favor of you will drop in the room on me. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? So I don't pray for money. I don't pray. Oh, that's, that's nothing. The Bible said life doesn't power your tongue. You're speaking it every day. Yes. You speak, I'm a millionaire. I'm a, it's happening. It's flow. It's coming. I see, we got new clients coming in here all every day. So it's the mindset, bro. That is that is so true. And that is, you know, I, I do. I applaud you. I applaud you. I appreciate it, man. Um, and what y'all are doing. You know, you've said so many times about 
faith and believing. Yes, yes. Let me tell you something. Faith without works. It's dead. It's dead. All you dead. sit here and have faith and <laughs> be like, Lord, bring it. Mm. And he going to be like, well, I brought it, but it's mm. at the door. You got to get up and go to the door. You mm. know, and, and to see the favor that God has placed on your life. Man, I appreciate um, it. To be able to see the the unity between you and your wife. You know, that's that's what so many people miss. Yes. They, they miss that 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 it is possible. It's possible. I I, I, I applaud y'all for showing. Yes. It is possible. Trying to be an example. And that's that's what it's about. Yes. That is what it's about. Is is everybody want to talk about it. There's a lot of folks out there running. They worse no country boy running their triple trail. Lord, I know I can run mine, but there's some other folks out there. They run there and don't do nothing. Man, they don't put nothing. ain't nothing behind it but the mouth. That's it, man. If, if if you if you cut the tongue out, come on, man, man. But you know, to be able to to be an example mm. and to walk it, that's what it's about. Every that's day. what it's about, man. The 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 work ethic. The work ethic. You know it, that. That work ethic, I, do you know the same four words in love is the same four words in hate? They're both four-letter words. But I say that because the work ethic, like, the, my wife would be like, you coming to bed? I'm like, well, I got to edit this video. I got to, you know, it's 2 in the morning. Sometimes God will wake me up and be like, write this down. I'm like, oh, man, I got to get up. Right, I got to right. go. I got to go to my computer. Write this down. It's like he's speaking to me because I'm like, people. Say, I, don't, I tell people I don't pray for money. I pray for favor and wisdom because if I know what room to go in, once I get in the room, God's favor gonna be on my life, mm-hmm. and then now people gonna connect with me. That's the key. So many people, man. God, please bless my money. But I'm like, I'm like, mm-hmm. God is. This is funny. I, I'm gonna ask God a question though. I'm gonna say God. When people playing sports and everybody praying to you, who do you let win? Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, the fans are praying. The players are praying. You know what I'm saying? Who uh, do you mean? How do that work? How does that work? The last thing I'm going to leave is this. This is our body. The book on represents the body. We're about to die. We're sitting on this deathbed. There's going to be angels that surround us. These angels are going to say one or two things. You're going to have some angels be like, oh, boy, you did good. I'm ready to go. You have some angels that are going to say, man, I got to die with you because you don't live your purpose. Mm. I got to die with you because you didn't do this. Man, I'm mad at you, man. It's so much we could have had. Right. You and your debt, but you can't even move. All you can do is just see the angels. And you sitting there one. That's why I say, I don't have time to play. This is why I named my brand Why Now Is Your Time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Life, brand, legacy. Design the life you want, create the brand you deserve, and leave your legacy with your own information and products. Die empty. Man. We dying empty, bro. Hey, man. You know, Come on, talk to me. You just made me. <laughs> I, I, I got Some got in you. <clears throat> Some got in me. I, I got you, bro. Come on. As you're talking. Yes, sir. And and hearing your vision, <sighs> only thing is the scripture that comes. Come on, talk and to it me. It says this. It says, "Peter, do you love me?" Mm. And he says, well, "You know I love you. Mm. Feed my sheep." <sighs> Peter, come on. Do you love me? Mm. Let me tell you something. When I hear you speaking. I can only imagine the question being posed, do you love me? Come on. And him saying, and you responding, I will feed yes. your sheep. I appreciate it. And what that means to each and every one, let me tell this and, and to your audience. Come on. We all have a bag <sighs> with food. Mm. Whether that's your... Your, your singing ability, whether that's your talking ability, whether it's your writing, painting, drawing, mm. whatever it may be, each one of us has been given a bag. Talk about it. And what are we supposed to do with that bag? Huh. Feed the sheep. Come on. Who are the sheep? Mm. He's a sheep. 
he got to be fed. Come on. I'm a sheep. Come on. I want to be fed. Mm. So imagine if each and every one of us was doing mm. and feeding each other. Shh. Nobody. Nobody's starving. There it is. Nobody's starving. Listen, man. <laughs> I always tell you guys, man, he dropped so many gyms. Keep watching me like you watch TV. Not only will you watch your income grow, but your bank account will change. Remember one thing. Lamborghinis don't. Lamborghinis said they don't make commercials because the people that they deal with don't sit on the couch. Mm. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.